Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the best Southern fried chicken, along with revealing the secret to achieve the best Southern fried chicken. So here's all of what we are going to be starting with. I got some clean and padded dry chicken wings. And in this bowl, we are going to be creating the secret, which is the brine. So let's do that. Okay guys, so here's all of what you are going to be needing for this brine except for the water we're going to be adding that but there's a method to that so here i have some sugar some salt we got some chicken bouillon some black pepper some garlic powder and some onion powder and some vinegar so i'm going to show you guys how to balance this and get it incorporated into a brine and we'll move on from there you want to start out by adding your sugar and your salt. Then you're gonna get some warm water just so this can dissolve. You wanna mix this up until you don't feel any grains in the bottom of your bowl. All right, and this sounds perfect. So you don't hear that scraping sound because the water was warm enough to dissolve the, uh, the crystals of the sugar and the salt. Okay, so followed with that, you're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. And as usual, everything will be listed in the description below. So you guys can follow this recipe to the T. Okay, so we're gonna mix that up. Get that incorporated. Okay, now you wanna add your vinegar. You can use pickle juice as well if you don't wanna use the vinegar, which is fine. And no, it will not taste like pickle juice. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add the remainder of, uh, actually, I'm gonna put the, the chicken in right now because I just want this to cover the chicken. I don't want to have too much water in it. Okay, now we're gonna put some water in it. I'm gonna use slightly cold water to cover the remainder of this. There is no specific measurement for the water. You just want to make sure that your uh, your chicken is covered. want to mix that up a little bit okay so this is going to not that you need to tenderize uh, chicken wings because they're already pretty tender but if you were to use other chicken parts this sugar and salt mixture will definitely tenderize your meat and everything else is definitely going to add the flavor but this is going to soak anywhere from eight hours to overnight I'm gonna do this overnight so we can have the best results and follow behind this I'm going to show you how to make the best flour mixture the breading for this chicken and we'll move forward from there but before you put it in the refrigerator for your time of choice you have to make sure that you cover this so I'm gonna cover this with some uh, saran wrap then I'm gonna place this in the refrigerator overnight this is going to be the bomb recipe make sure you follow it to the T and I'll be right back to show you guys how to season your flour 
Okay guys, so in this bowl I have my three cups of flour and my one cups of cornstarch. And to that, I'm going to be adding this special seasoning blend that I have. I'm just gonna give that a mix and then we're gonna add that in. All right guys, so it's mixed up all the way. This is what it should be looking like. This is like the perfect blend. Okay, so with that, you're gonna add it to your flour and cornstarch mixture. Seems like a lot, but it's definitely not. Okay, so once you add that, the seasons to your flour and cornstarch mixture, you're gonna mix it up. You can do this with a whisk, fork, spoon, and all those for you. Just make sure that you mix it thoroughly to get all of those seasons evenly, evenly distributed through this. So once you move your chicken, you can totally discard this uh this solution here. So now I'm going to get some extra paper towels and just pat this dry. Okay, and patting it dry doesn't, you know, make it have less seasoning. Like you're not going to lose anything. Everything is already soaked within the uh, the chicken pieces. And you can use this recipe for any parts of the chicken. I'm just choosing wings because I love eating them. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to get rid of this brine and we're going to start on our wet batter our binding mix so we can coat these wings and let them set before we fry them all right guys so our wings have been patted dry now we're going to move on to making our binding mix just like i stated a few minutes ago so here i got a few eggs i got some whole milk that's what we're going to be using you can use buttermilk if you want. I just prefer to use whole milk. And I have some hot sauce. And no, for those of you who think that the hot sauce is going to make the chicken hot, it's not. It's just flavor, that's all. So you wanna get that mixed up. Okay, so now that we got this Find that mix mixed together, we're gonna add it to our chicken. And we are going to mix that. And make sure that it's all over every piece. And we're gonna let it sit in it for about 10 minutes. Guys, I know this seems like a lot for this chicken, but trust me, it's worth it. Trust me, my last fried chicken video did very well, exceptionally well. 
you guys can go check that out as well it's a short video but uh this is just another way of making you know a perfect fried chicken a southern secret so we're gonna let this sit a little bit for the 10 minutes like i said and we're gonna bring over our flour mixture and we're gonna start coating these pieces of chicken all right guys so we're gonna add our chicken to our seasoned flour as some people may call it breading either way it's fine it's the same thing so I'm going to start off with four pieces and I'm going to show you guys a scoop and fold method so you just want to fold it in give it a press you can use two hands but right now filming a video it's a bit difficult for me I'm going to show you just how to get those flakes on your chicken But after you do this, guys, you want to let this set onto a plate or a rack for about 15 minutes before dropping into your oil. In all of my fried chicken videos, I mentioned that. So make sure you definitely follow that. Make sure you get every bare spot so that there isn't any. Make sure it's coated with flour. Look at that. That is going to be one crispy piece of chicken. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. Whoa, these chicken pieces. Oh, a couple of bare spots. Okay, and this is what you want to see. See those flakes? Shake off the excess flour and just let them rest. All right, guys, so I'm going to get this done and I will be right back when it's time to drop them in the oil okay guys so we are ready to fry this chicken I already tested my oil with a small piece of flour as you can see it's right there and we are ready to go make sure that your oil is heated to 325 degrees and we're gonna let this fry anywhere between 12 and 16 minutes until golden brown all right guys so i will be right back when this first batch is done okay guys so let's give our chicken wings a check look how beautifully this is perfected y'all better stop playing with me on these chicken streets all right so when these wings are done you're going to place them on a cooling rack to let the excess oil drip off. Do not use paper towel. All right, guys, here's another one. Pure perfection, pure perfection. <laughs> okay, it's time to take them out. Gonna let these cool. Meanwhile, I will be adding the second batch into this oil. Guys, make sure you like this video. I'm pretty sure you're liking what you're seeing right now. That is perfection right there. KFC ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am going to add this second batch and I will be right back after I complete that when these wings are completely done. We'll plate up and we'll give them a taste. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's about that time. Our Southern fried chicken is all done and I just left them on a rack. So we're just gonna taste them from here. So I'm gonna try this one. Still a little bit hot. Ooh, okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> that is good. Whoa. Guys, that 
that Brian, oh my God. <laughs> you guys gotta give this a try. It is gonna make the best chicken that you've ever had in your life. Trust me on this one. Trust me. So guys, that pretty much sums up this video. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. It's all appreciated. And I will see you in the next video.